Kentucky. Al William Galloway now with the post-game story from the Auburn Arena. Wednesday night here in Auburn Arena, the Auburn Tigers defeated the Alabama Crimson Tide 95-91. to The win for the Tigers was their fifth overtime win of the season and their third overtime win in a row. We left some free throws out. We, we missed some balls around the basket. Um, then we're, gonna, we're not going to continue to win. We're not going to keep winning all the time games. Tonight the game started hot for the Auburn Tigers. They went up 16-0 after the first media timeout and injured Alabama player Herbert Jones came in with a cast on. He contributed significant minutes for the Crimson Tide. Also, Kyra Lewis played a big role for Alabama having a triple-double. The triple-double was the first since 1996 when Roy Rogers had two that season. Uh, and, um, I mean, I don't really think about it right now because we lost the game. So, I mean, nothing really matters like, if you lose. I mean, it would feel better if I won, but you know, we lost. So, it's a triple-double with a loss. Jaden Chappelford had a team-high 28 points for the Crimson Tide. He had seven three-pointers made, and Alabama went 22 of 59 from the three-point line. That's right, 59 three-pointers is an SEC record for three-pointers attempted. Coach Oates wasn't pleased with such a high number. There's probably a few too many, to be honest with you. I mean, not too many makes. I'll take as many makes as we can get. 59 attempts. Is, obviously, they played zone. We didn't, we didn't do a great job at times of tagging it. Next up for Alabama and Auburn, the Crimson Tide will host LSU Saturday afternoon. Tip-off is at 3 o'clock. Meanwhile, the Auburn Tigers travel up to Columbia to take on the Missouri Tigers. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. Inside Auburn Arena, I'm William Galloway, WVUA 23 Sports. Thank you, William. As you heard, Kyra, a triple-double Alabama with 22 made three-pointers. That's an SEC and Alabama record.